Venice is probably one of the most unique cities in the world. It actually defines everything a city should be. There isn't anyone that comes to Venice without visiting this square. Venice is a beautiful place and this square and its history are absolutely amazing. The church has a lot of historical significance. The line to get a ticket isn't too long, so Zarco is over there waiting. The Basilica is one of the most beautiful cathedrals in Europe and around the world. The works of the present Basilica began in 1063 to represent the power of the prosperous Venetian Republic. Inside we just saw the original horses, and these are replicas. The square is on the southern edge of Venice Island, near the entrance to the Grand Canal, and it has its own Vaporetto water bus stop. Venice is the jewel of the Venetian Empire that spread across the Mediterranean, the Adriatic, and the Aegean Sea. In the 5th century, people fled their homes to avoid barbarian conquerors. A marshy lagoon was located just off the mainland and protected from the barbarians who would not cross the water. As invasions continued across Italy, more and more people fled until eventually they realized there was a need for a new city. They drove wooden poles deep into the clay beneath the ground. On top of the wooden poles, they built wooden platforms. And then on top of that, they constructed their buildings. All of which means that Venice is basically built on wood and water. What do you think? Do you like Venice? Yeah, yes, it's yes. really unique, it's beautiful. Some people feel like they haven't really had the true Venetian experience without a gondola ride. I have always been enamored with the Venetian gondola, especially how they're able to row standing up. It's been one of my most dreamed about experiences. We chose to go to the smaller and quieter canals of Venice for a more peaceful and authentic gondola ride. Gondola is a traditional Venetian boat used to move around the city of Venice, Italy. In the absence of roads, the inhabitants, well, they couldn't use horses, and the size of the canals required a thin and flat bottom embarkation. The Venetian gondola, well, it surely answered all of those problems.
As you can see, gondolers, they stand up to row and they use only one oar, as this is the best way to row through these narrow canals of Venice. On the gondola, we are seeing Venice from a completely different perspective. I can now better appreciate how the city functions with canals instead of the streets. It sure seems like it would be easy to get lost. Everything, I mean everything in the city, is transferred by boat instead of buses. A Vaporetto is basically a bus boat. There are 21 lines, including those that serve other islands in the lagoon, like Murano, Verano, and Torcello. Lines one and two are among the most popular because they both run the length of the Grand Canal. We purchased a one-day ticket and are on one for the afternoon. We're seeing the city from the water. The view from the water, well, everything is like a painting. Barges are used for everything. We've seen trees and shrubs being delivered. We actually saw a grand piano being uploaded outside a Grand Canal Palazzo. Domestic furniture. The Italian Postal Service have their own delivery boats. DHL and UPS have their own boats and they deliver packages around the city, nipping through the canals. Emergency services are also served by boat. We are seeing ambulances, police vehicles, and the fire brigade whiz along the network of the canals. We are seeing small barges stacked high with food, wine, merchandise, any daily necessity that a Venetian might need. Well, as the day is winding down, it's time for us to head back to our apartment, which we rented outside the city in a small Italian village. Just a 30 minute train ride, and we are back and greeted by our host's welcoming party.